Hi guys! Welcome back to our weekly arts and crafts session. And for today, I will be showing you how to paint a bonfire using your fingers. First, I'm gonna show you a time lapse of me painting it, and then afterwards, I will be showing you the step by step tutorial on how to do it. So, do stick around! I really like the idea of finger painting as it allows us to explore the creativity in a tactile way and most especially for kids, um, this is a good sensory activity as it will help develop their fine motor skills, concentration, and creativity. I just have to warn you that it may get a bit messy, most especially with kids, but that's the fun of it, right? Just do guide them, most especially on the finger strokes and on which choices of colors to get. While we paint on, it's good to be reminded of what happened way before our time when Daniel and his three friends were thrown into the furnace for refusing to bow down to the statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. And miraculously, you know, they all survived as God had protected them against the fire. It's so amazing, isn't it? So we can tell the story spontaneously while painting on these four men figures. Okay, so to begin, these are our materials. First, we have these Pentel watercolors uh, from Pentel brand. Uh, a little bit background of this. I have this with me for more than 10 years already. And I'm so surprised to still see them right now that most of my paints, they are still fluid in consistency. Some of them already dried up, like this one, the yellow, it's already so uh, hard. The paint dried up already, but nonetheless, we can still use it. We can mix it with water and it's still workable. But for most of the watercolors that I have here, that is more than 10 years already, they still have this fluid consistency. It's still soft. So yeah, I'm really surprised and I'd say that this is a good buy. A good deal to buy. Next, because our yellow paint here is dried up already, I would be using a substitute which is this poster color uh, for our yellow paint. Next, I have here a paintbrush and our sketch pad. Okay, so first, we are going to use our hands to paint, or our fingers. So now what we're trying to do is dilute the paint by adding a few drops of water and just try to mix it until you see the paint good enough for us to be able to use. First, we are using our finger and we would dip it in. There you go. Then we are going to make a log. So I'm going to put more water in it so we can easily spread the paint. If not, it's gonna be so thick in consistency and it'll be harder to spread. So just put more water if you like so that you can easily spread it. After all, it's watercolor. And then just have a tissue with you so that you can um, wipe off your first paint. And then we are going to our next color. So this is tan and I'll be Diluting it again with water using my finger. So there you go. We have the paint here already. And we are going to brush it just a bit on our brown lug. Sort of like creating a shade effect. 
put some dots here on top of the log in the middle. Okay? Next, we are going to use yellow. Just put a bit of yellow on top in the middle and we are going to spread it out like this and you can see the fire growing and what's nice is if the paint dries up a bit you can see a lighter shade on top so yeah our brown has been mixed up a bit but it's okay now we are moving on to the color orange. You can start first by putting one drop of water with your finger. And if it still lacks water, you can put another drop using your finger. Okay. The orange paint, we are going to put here on the middle. Okay, And then try to blend it upwards. So the thing is, we would like yellow to be on the center part. As you know, that is the hottest part of the flame, the center. And just gently swipe your finger going up. to grow higher. And then, for the middle part here, you can use one of your clean finger and just put a bit of water and sort of like blend it just a bit. So if kids will be doing this, I suggest that an adult can guide how they should make the strokes so that the outcome would be somehow um, controlled or be able to look like a fire still. Okay, next we are going to the paint red and this will be our last color for the flame. We are going to put it here on the upper portion of our fire and spread it again using our finger. So just continue to spread it, most especially on the outer part of the flame so that it would look so hot. have it our fire so you can let the paint dry a bit and if you want to add more details we can use this black uh, poster color or any paint you have watercolor will do also and I'm gonna use the paint brush and I'm gonna put water inside so we can make details by Starting from the outside of the log, going in. So we are somehow just making strokes, going inwards, defining the outline of our log. Make a bit of strokes that make it look like our um, wood is really burning so hot. And then, here on the end of our wood or log, I want to use my pinky finger and we are going to add more detail. I'm going to get this tan color, sort of like make a round shape or make it look like greedy. So that when you look at it from the top, it doesn't seem like flat. So it's like a wood that you cut it and you have a 3D shape here.
So how do you guys find the idea of finger painting? Have you tried this before or is it your first time? Actually, in this video, it is my first time to do finger painting. And I really enjoyed it. And please let me know also your experience on finger painting. <laughs> 